This video shows how to calculate the power dissipation in CMOS circuit using cadence virtue so. Here the test setup consists of CMOS inverter with PMOS and NMOS and a capacitive load of 10 femtofarad. The supply voltage is VDC is equal to 1 volt. To calculate the power dissipation in this CMOS circuit, a transient analysis is performed. To perform the transient analysis, consider a pulsed source, cell name is pulse and the input voltage is 0 to 1 and the period is 20 nanosecond, rise time is 100 picoseconds, fall time is 100 picosecond pulse width is of 10 nanoseconds. So once the setup is complete and I am using the 14 nanometer technology to perform this analysis. Click on check and save the design. Go to the launch. Click on ADEL. Since I am performing the transient analysis, right click click on edit choose transient simulate it for 50 nanoseconds click on moderate ok I want to plot the input and output from the design click ok From the output, to calculate the power dissipation in this CMOS circuit, go to the outputs, click on save all option. Here select the output signals and the output power. These two signals are enabled for power signal calculation. Click on OK. Once the setup is done, load the model libraries to simulate the circuit. I am using the PTM14 nanometer technology files for the simulation. Click OK. Then click on netlist and run. So this is a general nominal inverter with the input falling, output is in a rising. Now go to the tools, go to the results or browser, then go to the results, open results. Here you have a file with name PSF. Click to open this. click on this then you have tran double click on this you will be made available with the signals you have the power signal you have the m0 which is m0 in the sense it belongs to the power related to nmos and m3 it belongs to pmos here it is M3. You can directly plot them by double clicking on them. They are loaded here. And finally, the total power, you can click on this split all strips and you can see the power plots for NMOS and M3 is for PMOS. And this is the total power. You can calculate the individual power. So right click on this and send to calculator. This time you need to provide only the function called average. Click on the evaluate buffer. 
so it is around 711 nano you can directly add this in the similar manner you can calculate it for m0 which is for nmos send to calculator again select the function called average you don't need to multiply with vdd because we are already getting the power plot you can view the value as 520 click on this so that they get loaded into the edl window and finally the power plot this also can be done send it to the calculator because it is the data of already a power plot we are performing the function only the averaging so use that evaluate this this is the total power dissipation in the circuit so i have added these in the edl everything is added this is with respect to first plot pmos this is with respect to nmos and this is for overall power power dissipation in the cmos circuit in this way you can verify the power dissipation of individual transistors